This is Victoria Park Station. Victoria Park Station originally opened in 1898, but along with improvements for the Armadale Line when the Mandra Line was still thought to be going through here, a new station was opened on the 2nd of August 2008, as shown by that plaque. We have now crossed over the pedestrian dedicated crossing on the western side of the station, and are now heading up the ramp to the footbridge to get across on the platforms. There's a train coming in right now. It's an express one, so it just zooms by because this is a predominantly Thorny Line train station. For yeah, mostly Thorny Line train stopping here, except early morning and weekends when the Armadale Line train stop as well. The station is located 6.2 kilometers from Perth in Fair Zone 1, across the road from the Western Australian Association for the Blind, which means that the station has a bit of a focus on tactile paving and safety getting in and out so that those people can get to that building safely. As you could see down there, there are also some sidings on the northern side of the station because those are the sidings for Perth Stadium which stretch all the way down to this station where all the trains wait before the end of an event so that they can all go out at the same time and pick up all the passengers once it ends. Okay, now we've got up onto the footbridge which is well covered and there's also a staircase to get up here but I just used the ramp there you can use the stairs or the lift to get down onto the platform and there's like a little help point next to the lift and then some more stairs on this side where you can just head down onto the street there which is Rutland Avenue where the train replacement bus stops are located down there for route 907 okay and now we're at the bottom of the lift where there's a drink fountain, a bin, open session, smartware processors phone booth, dot matrix display uh, seating, sanitizer and transit officer booth all under that shelter there and then on the outside here it's uncovered and you got this very strange artwork which was created by Rob Muir and it's just like some speaker inside this with some audio link between the two things but I don't think it works and it's meant to be symbolic of the association of the blind like because they rely on sound instead of sight at the end of the platform there's just a bit more seating with shelter and some planters. You can also see the car park on the right hand side there. Okay, we've now come 250 meters north of the station. This is where the old station used to be located. Actually, I think it was about 30 more meters south, yeah, right there, like where I'm pointing right now. I was a bit in the wrong section, but there's a car park there which used to be the station car park and now it's just a public car park. Uh, yeah, so we just watch this train come by here. This is just some tollway gate zone, but I think you can see the tracks from here. Yep. So the old station was a very basic hot station, and then as upgrades for the Mandra line, as I said before, they made the whole new station, which is a much bigger shelter, not really hot anymore. But then the Mandra line didn't go through here and then just Thorny Station got created like I said in the last video and now it's just a better station than all the other ones. So I'm going to give the station a rating of 3 stars. It's still quite a small station like most of them along the Armadale line but it's much better than the hot stations we see around it with the big shelter, footbridge and even a lift. But there's still no toilets and not a big car park and no buses. So middle of the rankings with 3 stars. And over here the Miller Street Bridge, about 650 meters south of the station, is where the old Lathland station used to be located, which closed in 2003, also part of the Mandra Line upgrade works, when the Victoria Park station moved closer to it and then it would just be way too close, so they just got rid of it.
attention passengers, transfer trains advises passengers and visitors that luggage and personal items must not be left unattended in or